climbed all these different roads. So. It's a little bit difficult to find the little walk. <laughs> but eventually I came onto this side road and I figured it'd be a, it'd be a good spot to take a photo. Especially this house quite far on the right. You might be able to pick it out in the video in a minute. I think the sun was in a great position, but to be honest, I'm a little bit of an amateur. absolutely don't almost fall flat on my face coming down here <laughs> and uh, as you know when you take a photo you absolutely always gotta give the camera a good thumbs up otherwise it's gonna be a shit photo and it's a shit photo anyway <laughs> a little bit too dark for my liking but I'll get better <laughs> absolutely clueless of what to do so anyways, I hit on a little bit of a wall to try and find the castle. <laughs> so, uh, this is probably my favourite photo of the day. Uh, maybe top two. The way there I saw this little house. The one I took after it, a portrait photo. I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, how central it is. It's similar with this one, even though it's a little bit of overexposure. I feel like it'd be sweet to live in a little cottage like this. Some old granny making pies. I don't know. So eventually, after quite a bit of walking and googling, I found this little walkway and I figured why not just head on down there. Something's gotta lead to this ruin. <laughs> no matter how many, uh, creepy tunnels I gotta walk through. Turns out the castle was made in, I don't know, 1300s, or it was at least restored in the 1300s. Um, I mean, he was a famous painter. Uh, later on I'll put up some of the paintings. He painted it uh, in the 1700s. Uh, J.M.W. Turner pretty fascinating to see how the landscape changed, but how for maybe around 300 years it's still been a little bit of a wreck. How ancient this thing must be. And there it is. It really was beautiful to see it coming through the, coming through the forest like that. And nobody there at all. I mean this was, this was close to the hottest day of the year. It was, it was sunny all that day. Didn't make for the best photos with the contrast, but I'll get better. And I really love this little path here coming up. The little steps. Made it feel really abandoned. I mean, sadly you can't go inside in case <laughs> some 600 year old brick comes tumbling on your head. But if you still, it was beautiful to explore. It's a real hidden gem, this one.
kind of like this photo. It's not my favourite. Uh, this one, this one is potentially my favourite. I love the colours of the flowers in the bottom left. And these steps. I took one of this, but it ended up far too dark. I typically don't edit my photos. I wouldn't know enough how to yet anyway. But If I learn, I might try and work some magic on that one. I was so paranoid of going, uh, catching a tick going through these. Maybe I should have uh, taken some of uh, these beautiful pink flowers and the bushes though. This, this might have been my favourite view of the place. I'll show the painting now. Um, it's from a vaguely similar angle. And there's a couple of the by him here as well. Um, I just wish I could have exposed it a little bit more, but at the same time exposed it a little bit less. <laughs> so, I don't know. Ah, oh, this might be my favourite also. Um, I took one here, but I'll show a few others that I took while I wasn't recording. the ears a bit hidden and out of the way there's no illusions here so, uh, after that I just headed home I hope you enjoyed the first video a little bit short a little bit light on photos but I intend to make quite a few more of them please uh, leave your feedback and check out my Instagram if you can there's some of my better works there I hope to upload those on there now as well. And uh, most importantly, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.